God bless America. They may not have mastered the art of speaking English properly yet, but they can't half make some nice cars. If you had access to a car like this, would you take it back right away? Neither would I. Just remember, slow in, fast out. Just like making love. It's time to get out. Let's close out a very difficult week on a positive note. It's not only necessary, it's the right thing to do heading for the weekend. Start with a simple admission. When it comes to anything on wheels with horsepower, I'm a junkie, a nerd. Died in the rich Corinthian leather fanatic, the guy who can quote most great film car chases. Still, every time I see the Dukes of Hazard, where one of the greatest cars of all time, the 69 Dodge Charger takes a beating, I cry. So for those who follow in these pedal-to-the-metal footsteps, it is a special weekend in Manhattan. The New York International Auto Show is holding court. With the best damn car coach in America, Lauren Fix is there to tempt the automotive taste buds. So now we get a chance. You may not be able to get to New York. I'm not being there. Believe me, I've told Lauren this personally. I hate her for the fact that she's there and she gets to enjoy it. But have yourself a great weekend. Think of the American automobile. Rock on, true believers. We'll see you back here Monday. And now get a taste of the New York Auto Show. Hi, Ed. I know you can't be here, but I decided to sit in front of the brand new Mustang GT350. I know you're not such a big Ford fan, but they came out with a Lincoln Navigator and a concept, and it was so cool with the gull wing sides. And again, Lincoln has stolen the show again with a very exciting concept. But there's some other very exciting cars here that might interest you, including the Focus RS. Now, this is a really a race car for the street. It's reasonably priced. And hey, if you really want to have a lot of fun, this is something to consider. So one of the vehicles I wanted to show you is the Nissan GTR. Now this is a reface. It has a completely new interior, new front end, new rear end, new wheels, and new exhaust. It has 20 more horsepower, coming in around $110,000. You get a lot of car for your money. This is a performance vehicle that you could drive every day. And boy, does it sound sweet. <laughs> I had an opportunity to speak with Fred Diaz, who's in charge of the truck division, the new Titan truck, not just the XD, which we saw earlier in some of our His Turn, Her Turn reviews, but we had an opportunity to see the new half-ton truck. Lauren, as you know, we launched the XD version of the Titan, which has the Cummins turbo diesel engine. Mm -hmm. and now we're producing the XD gas version of that. Now this baby behind us, this is the non-XD version, if you will. Mm -hmm. It is a normal 1500 truck that's coming to market. What have you done with the inside of the vehicle that makes it different from its competition? So with the XD that's already in market right now, mm -hmm. and with this vehicle, the feedback we're getting from customers as well as from dealers is the comments that are coming saying the fit and finish and the interior of this vehicle is to die for. It is gorgeous long overdue from our old truck, but nonetheless, we did it right. And we're finally in market with, you have to take a look at this interior and really to sit in the vehicle to really understand what we did to this vehicle, not just from an external standpoint or from a durability standpoint, but also from the internal fit and finish of the vehicle. Well, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. And I wish you good luck with the Titan. And I, I want to see that the Warrior. So do I. That's going to so be a I. really nice vehicle. So, Ed, I saved the best for last. Well, in your opinion, anyhow. This is the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. 707 horsepower, $64,000. I know, this is your color. You got to do it in red. I know you're so, so jealous. But, you know, you could always get that Viper behind me, too. Either one would fit really nicely in your garage. It's about performance. FCA is really coming out with some great cars, and there's a lot more to cover. We just hit some of the highlights of the performance vehicles. I guess we'll have to cover more next week. Take care, Ed.